Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Yeah, this is another one tracking the International Space Station. So there it is. Montreal's over here, that's where I live. And slowly but surely it's coming for another pass and we're gonna try some more slow scan TV decoding. So um, we're gonna wait for that to arrive. It's not a very good pass because you see it's passing up north from Montreal and at the highest it's going to be like 28 degrees elevation north. So it's not very high in the sky, but I'm hoping to still get a good enough signal to decode something. And of course we are using S M M S S T V as a decoding platform. It's kind of my favorite PC decoding software, honestly. Put it in auto mode. Let's put the uh, little um, the um, magnifying glass so we can get a bigger view of whatever is going to decode. Uh, for those that wonder, because I had a question, is how is it hooked up to my radio? So uh, this is a laptop that I use only for radio stuff. And here you see there's a little wire connected. This is connected to the microphone input of my laptop and that little wire if you follow it is in the record out of my icom right here so this gives me the output of sound that i need and it's cool because it's a specific um you know it's a record out so it has a set value of strength so whatever i play with the volume or anything on the radio it is not affected by that. So it's always a fixed input. Now, a lot of scanners don't have that. So uh, if you would use a portable scanner, just to give you an idea, I would use on the top the, don't mind the uh, ton of uh, <laughs> dust on it. I would use the uh, earphone jack uh, simply. And if you use the earphone jack and you use a computer, um, you can actually have the audio come out of your computer. You have to set up something called stereo, uh, stereo mix in Windows. Um, there's also something equivalent in the Mac, which lets you like pass through the sound. So, uh, as the International Space Station is pretty much that little sound you heard was telling me that it actually has just this just reached the. Uh, capability or the 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 horizon on the uh, northwest side and it will slowly creep up so uh, let's uh, see if we can hear something so of course here we go it's already there look at that so let's check out slow scan It's very, 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 uh, very weak right now, so it's not really good to code. So you see I start up a little high because of the Doppler shift of the International Space Station. You got to start higher on the frequency and slowly move down. You can have computer control. Um, I used to actually use um, um, a, a software that would actually have the computer control through the... Um, serial port in back of my icon that would follow the the correct frequency so uh, this is the International Space Station sending out another SSTV image and uh, basically it's uh, not the best right now hopefully we can have something better in the next the next uh, image so here's what it looks like. It's, it really started pretty much at the beginning. We very, uh, very lightly see here the call sign. And uh, as the signal gets better, we get a better decode at the bottom, as you see here. So with a little luck, we might get something else. So let's cross our fingers uh, about that as it's getting to the end. Uh, the last decode was really cool, except for the, uh, if you guys noticed, there was some green here on the left side and the last code that was uh, at a portion here it got out of sync 
But it still gave me a really beautiful code, so, you know, I didn't really mind that much. So now it's going to go into the three minute off session. And here we go. So we got a three minute off. This is uh, the time where we can examine where we are in the past. So let's, uh, let's remove this for a second and let's go to check Arbitron. So the International Space Station is still, you know, at the beginning of its path. So in the three minutes, it's going to move it closer. And even though, the, you know, 27 degrees is not very high, I am crossing my finger for a pretty cool decode. Um, what's the distance? Somebody asked me, what's, how far is the International Space Station when you decode it? Well, when it has a pass like this, you'd be surprised because it's so far up north that it actually is more than a thousand miles away from my radio. So, you know, this is eye of sight. I mean, it's VHF frequencies. So it's pretty amazing. And since I don't have a directional antenna, it's a double amazing am amazement, basically, because it, you know, I'm receiving something that has just a few watts because the International Space Station amateur station doesn't, isn't very powerful. So, you know, it's like you got like 5, 10, 20 watts, I don't know, into an antenna, and I'm receiving that a thousand miles away, which is amazing. At the best pass, so say if it passes overhead, the International Space Station is somewhere around something like two or three hundred kilometers up, just above our head. It's uh, it's lower than most low Earth orbit satellites, um, but it's uh, it's still in orbit and it's still receiving a signal from space, which makes it so cool. So uh, as we're waiting for the signal to come back, as you see here, it's you know really up north. It's near uh, James Bay close to the uh, Hudson's Bay up north and it's crossing the uh, here we go let's go to let's go here let's make it bigger let's check that out great signal by the way hopefully hopefully this one's gonna be beautiful This is kind of cool, you know, you're decoding a signal and uh, it comes from space. So I'm going to stop talking because if you guys want to decode it, you'll be able to. Wow, look at that guys, this one's perfect. Just a slight slant, but you know, it's so small of a slant that let's forget about it, this is a perfect decode. So uh, really amazing, you know what, I'm having so much fun you guys, it probably shows in my voice. You know, it's like a, being a little kid, you know, and, and, and receiving something for the first time. This is so amazing. So you know what, guys, there's another pass in 90 minutes, and I'm gonna try it again. And we'll see, uh, there's several, I don't know how many pictures they have in their series, but there's several pictures. Anyways, so um, 
this is really cool. Really cool. And uh, of course, there's another pass in 90 minutes. I'm going to try it again. I'll, I'll make another video, I promise. And hope you guys enjoy uh, this cool hobby of radio listening. Uh, in this case, it's VHF. This is the 2 meter amateur radio band, and you just got a signal from the International Space Station. Next time it starts, it's probably going to be off. Let me just check it out here for a second. Yeah, it's, it's getting off. So I'm going to lose it as the picture is being sent. So I uh, hope you're enjoying our little series on uh, decoding slow scan TV pictures. This is very cool. Hope you enjoy the videos. If you enjoy, please subscribe to the channel.